It always comes to this. Oh there guys, here to do another Tattoo Progress update today. Where I last left off, I had just um, showed off the red highlights on my face. Um, we did it under the chin again. As you can see, it's held really, really well this time. Uh, and we also framed the white highlights on my face with uh, red velvet. If you want my opinion, uh, the red velvet on black makes the black look actually a little darker. It just kind of has like a, a hint of red in it now. Um, obviously, there's more red down here than there is over here from the looks of things. Although there's about the same amount. Uh, it's just, my face has been, well, my face has been worked on a lot this year. And um, the face black has been done more recently than the neck blackout. So whenever the work chills out a bit and doesn't get tattooed for a while, for example, it will soften and lighten up a bit. Um, no black is gonna stay as black as this shirt, for example, forever. So just right off, right off the top, uh, my neck hasn't been tattooed, or sorry, blacked out. It's been tattooed like 10 times this year. Um, my neck hasn't been blacked out in about three years. Um, actually, probably longer than that. I'd say probably 2019, so getting on four years. Um, we did three passes of blackout, but even then, you're never going to get it as black as this wall. Which, by the way, uh, we're on Christmas vacation here at the shop. I'll, I'll talk more about that, but uh, I've been doing videos and different backdrops and different lighting and stuff because I haven't been able to make videos in front of this wall. Um, this is the, the set of Remy Reacts um, and the vlogs. We decided we wanted to paint it black, so while we've been painting, we had to prime it, and we've been moving around a bit. Anyway, uh, not to get too crazy onto that. Um, yeah, so anyway, the, the black over here is more recently done. If you'll recall, at the start of the year, we had uh, a dagger and an upside-down rose here. The white highlights had not been done here, or the black highlights for that matter. We've relined these scripts. I changed the top of my forehead to match up with the neck. Um, obviously the roses have been done, um, what is it, three times again. And I, while I'm bald here, I'll just show off. They've done incredibly well this time. I think that's it. I don't think we need to do it again. If we do it again, um, they'll be incredibly white or incredibly gray or whatever we want. I think at this point we could go either way. Um, this one's still a little bit better than the other one, but they're both really good now. Um, how that correlates to the color of the red being better in the neck area than the side of the face is um, this tissue has been worked real hard this year, and it could be the effect of uh, them just being a bit darker still, or the tissue is just kind of saying no more. Um, now that being said, they, it still did what I wanted it to do. And in places, it's quite red. There are some spots of this that have stayed really red. In other places, it's just this kind of uh, dark red undertone. And I don't think that'll go anywhere either. Um, I think I can get that redder, but what I think I need to do is wait. Um, I need to come back to that in maybe a year from now or two. Uh, I don't know if I'll wait too, but I'm going to give it a long break because the skin on top is taking a little while to heal now. Um, it's had that trend of dry, um, flaky, even though it peeled initially within two to three days, like everything else. Um, the second shed or the, the long term heal has taken a little longer. Could be because I've been getting a lot of work done in general for so long. I don't know what it is, but the chin stayed actually better than I expected. I don't know if I mentioned, uh, but I actually wanted to red out the chin all around, other than the white highlights. But Terry wanted to try and get those points in there, so 
I gave them the benefit of the doubt, and uh, they stayed pretty well. Now, the red has done exactly what it was supposed to do, and that it separated everything under here. Um, again, the only place that it didn't stay super well is the face, but I think that's, as I said, just because it's darker. Anyway, um, I had another session, so I guess I should talk about that a little bit. I guess I haven't had a lot to say about it because it wasn't much of a session. Um, it was probably the shortest session I've had with Rick. And uh, as I've said before, Rick doesn't famously work very long. I will go ahead and show it off here. So we did, again, we did the color over here again. And we got most of what we were going to do done. Uh, some of this stuff isn't completely finished. Obviously, as I've said, there will be touch-up run or um, like this one needs the most love, I think because that was the one that kind of scabbed up on us. Anytime you get scabbing and a color tattoo, you're gonna lose a little bit of the color. Um, you might not notice that if you're just doing normal tattoos, but if you're doing color on black, any amount of tone that you lose is gonna be crucial. But I wanna stress, this is all healed right now. And even the first color on black we did on my chest is staying as it was. So for the people out there that are like, yeah, show me it in a month, uh, I can show you it in two or I can show you it in four, or I can show you it in six, or if you look at my stomach, I can show you it in over a year. Uh, those people, they always ship the goalposts because if you show them that in two years, now they're asking for it in three. Now they're asking for it in 10. Um, I got a fucking memo for you. Every tattoo work looks worse in 10 years. Every one. I don't care if you have fond feelings for your piece that some asshole did on you in 1992. It looks worse now than it did then. That's just a reality. Some tattoos actually, they do age better. Like I think I've had a lot of American traditional style tattoos. Um, I actually think that they, they look better with that wear and tear, but they get that wear and tear. So the idea that um, this stuff will look worse in uh, 10 years, well, so will everything. All that's important is that you can get it in. Once it's in, it looks great. It doesn't really change. Um, I'm sorry to let you down, doubters and skeptics. If you're still watching my channel, you're going to look worse and worse as time goes on. Um, cause there's just going to be no, there's going to be no ability to deny it anymore. And you're just going to look bitter and foolish. <laughs> anyway, I'm still getting a few people who were like, oh, chess piece was so much better. It's like, dude, there was no chess piece here just a few months ago. And you were the same asshole who was telling me I wouldn't be able to do one. Now, see, they just, again, moving the goalposts. Anyway, um, we had a short session. So I'll get into that again before I ramble on about halfwits. Um, we had the idea that we were going to basically finish this side. Other than, obviously, we're going to do shading. Um, I believe it'll be something like the shading that we have in, around the spider eyes. So again, that texture, I think putting white in behind this and some heavy black around them will really bring them out. Um, you can quote me on that a few months from here when, I, when all that's done, uh, because those are the realities is that it just takes time. Um, so we did the rest of the color over here and this is all peeled already. This healed really, really easy. It was almost like I wasn't tattooed now, that being said, we only did an hour and 10 minutes or something, but we got what we needed to done. Um, Rick is a little concerned that my chest is slowing down and sealing a little bit, so he wanted to do a fairly short session and then um, uh, we can come back to it later, but this will probably be four weeks off now. Um, this one was a little bit dry, so it gave him some cause for concern, but I think it's come back pretty good. Um, we should be good to go on it Monday here. And if we aren't, I'll be the first to admit it. I can see when my skin is not doing well. So um, when he says things like that, it's never like I haven't noticed, but I think it's taken the ink really well. It's just, we've had 11 sessions on the chest now um, over the last few months. And it's probably getting to a place where it's like, can we give this a break? Now, if we have to go away from that for a minute, that's okay, I have other things that I need to do anyway. There's always other shit we can be doing with our time. Uh, there's always uh, more stuff you can screw with and change. 
I've been wanting another pass on the white and spider eyes forever. Not because they're changing, because they're not. Um, that's the same as it was. So it's still standing apart and it's keeping the, the black and the red popping. It's just, I think I can increase the contrast more. I know I can increase the contrast more, I should say. Um, we already know that when you do a few passes of white on things, they get brighter. It's not that they don't stay bright the first time, it's just they get to a level of white. If you do it again and again and again, that'll just keep going. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do the same thing here uh, this week. Uh, I think it's, yeah, we're Friday now. My week's all messed up because Christmas vacation here at the shop, just to give you a time frame for where I'm at with this. Um, now that being said, we painted this wall, so um, people will probably be seeing this on Remy Reacts before uh, um, the vlogs because those are a little farther ahead than the vlogs. It's partly because my schedule is very busy. Um, we might miss a week. It gets pretty busy here. Sometimes there just isn't time to do these. So that's why these are kept ahead. I know some people get frustrated. I've seen it. People complain, oh, well, I, I used to follow Remy, but it's so confusing because this timeline is all over the place. It's like, yeah, well, my life is very busy. I'm, uh, <laughs> sometimes I don't even know if I'm going to have time to make these. And I actually did stop making them for about a year because I just didn't have a spot for them. There's those people out there that think all I do is get tattooed, but it's like, no, I've, uh, for a long time I had two jobs and worked every day and, uh, yeah, I get tattooed, but I also am a father. Like I was a single father for a long time. Um, my son is with me all the time and I have a wife too. And these things demand a lot of me. I also still work a ton and, uh, managing all kinds of social media platforms and the shop social media. So it's like, Sometimes it just isn't time or I just get to the end of the day and I'm I'm not feeling it. I don't want to do it. Um, so that's why I keep my schedule ahead because I don't want to miss a week because these platforms, it's not just about what people want. It's also about what the algorithm wants and the algorithm wants consistency and consistency is not missing uploads. So I've gotten myself to a place where if I miss a week or if I don't feel like doing it one day, it doesn't mean I'm going to fall apart. Um, Instagram is the worst one for that. That thing, that algorithm is a runaway train. It's an absolute nightmare. Part of the reason why my TikTok is always the first one updated is because the algorithm on TikTok is pretty chill. It doesn't really give a shit. You can, be, you can be gone forever and come back on that. But if you get yourself to a place where Instagram or YouTube isn't pushing your videos or your pictures anymore, um, you'll get, I've got comments from people who haven't seen anything I've posted on my Instagram from, uh, about a year now. They haven't seen, they're like, they just, they look for my page again and they're like, holy crap, Remy's had a lot of work done. It's like, yep. Yeah. But if you don't double tap, if you don't comment, if you don't save or share every post, if you don't watch every video that a creator makes, there's a good chance you won't see the next one. And that's not me plugging like, hey, double tap, hey, comment, hey, interact with my content. You do whatever you want. But I, I think people need to be more aware of what their interactions with channels actually do. It's not, you don't like a photo because you like a photo. That's not what actually means anymore. When you like a photo, you're signaling to the algorithm that you want this in your feed, that you support this person and you want them in your feed. That means that when I see people that I like and care about, whether their post is very interesting to me or not, I like it. Um, I, I save it too. Um, same thing, I watch every video that a certain creator will make because I know that if I don't, then that person's stuff is gonna be shown to less and less people as uh, the days roll on. It's just a fact of life. I feel like we should be teaching people how to work with algorithms in school now because they're so integral to how our life is gonna be run the things we see on our phones and how much we stare at our phones these days, you really want to know how to influence what you're seeing. And I feel like no one talks about that and that's not good. Um, so 
This is not my plug for this channel, by the way. You can like this video or not. Just know that if you don't, there's a very good chance that you won't see the next one. And know that if you don't watch this whole video and listen to all of my, uh, my vitriol on this subject, there's a very good chance you're not going to see the next video because watch likes on YouTube matter too. Um, at this point, I'm sure no one cares about this stuff, but it is a big part of what we're seeing and, and how we're getting our information these days. So um, put a little more thought into what you're consuming and what you're interacting with. Put a little more thought in um, if you're going to be spending a couple hours a day looking at your phone, maybe have some idea of you what you want that phone to look like. Because if you don't, you're going to end up seeing all kinds of things you don't want to. Anyway, uh, sorry, I got a little bit ranty on that one. I've been meaning to talk about that for a while. So the chest piece is looking pretty goddamn good now. Um, there's little room for skepticism anymore. You can disagree with my design choices if you want. You can say this is messy or complicated or whatever you want, but you can't tell me it doesn't work. That's not happening anymore. Those people are in a box now. They've been put on a shelf and... Uh, there's no room for them in this conversation anymore. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day.